Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPod Touch. I'm gonna to show you how to take a screenshot. Very, very simple. I'll also show you some tips, including how to take a screenshot of an entire uh, web page as well. Okay, so the easiest way to take a screenshot is simply just using a two key combination, okay? The power button and the home button, okay? So press both buttons simultaneously, ready? One, two, just press, let go. Okay, both buttons at the same time. Power button, home button, ready? One, two, three, press both let go every time you take a uh, screenshot these will get saved directly to your photos gallery here so you can go to uh, recent if you go to albums you can go to recent here or as soon as you take a screenshot you should have a new folder called screenshots right here okay anyways I just tap on recent here and you can see that last screenshot I just took now the thing is let's say that you're on a um, inner, or the uh, website here and let's say you wanted to take a picture of this entire website or part of it so if you want to take um, a photo or a screenshot of the whole thing we're going to take a screenshot here and now we're going to tap on this and this is how you go ahead and you can edit it from here okay so we can go ahead and we can do whatever we want you can go ahead and oops go ahead and edit this you can go ahead and crop the sides and then you can save it to whatever you want now if we want to go, the, if we tap on full page here, now what we can do is this entire screen here, oops, this entire screen here, we can go ahead and um, save everything just like this and it's going to screenshot the entire web page. So for example, if I just go ahead and click on done, and now we have to save, the, it has to save um, as a PDF, okay? So save PDF to file, so I'm gonna tap on save right there. And then this is going to pop up here and I can save it to my iCloud Drive or I just like to have mine on my device locally. So I'll go ahead and tap this down here on my iPod. So I click on save. And now the thing is, I mean, you can't go into your photos gallery because now it's in your files folder. So what you have to do to get that PDF out is simply go ahead and go to your files app right here. And then you can see that last page that I just took which is right here and you can see wait that's not it here let's go ahead and click on done and let's wait for the uh, other for it to load back down okay here we go so let me tap on that so here's the entire page that I just took okay now let's say you won't only wanted to take a screenshot of like half the page or like part of it okay so what you can do also is we can crop it as well so here's the entire web page again so let's go and take a screenshot power button home button one two three just like that now i'm going to go ahead and tap on the screenshot i'm going to click on full page here now if i wanted to only um screenshot like part of it what i can simply do now is just tap on the crop button right there tap on crop and now you have to figure out oops just grab the bottom and figure out where you want to go so let's say just stop there and let's move down here let's like basically show this part here I'll click on done and I'm gonna click on done again then I have to save PDF to files and I like to save mine on my iPod so right there is fine I'm gonna go ahead and click on save right there okay so it's asking me to replace or keep both that's because I didn't change the name if I wanted to go ahead and change the name like for instance, I'll go ahead and click on done, save the PDF files, and then from here, I can rename the screenshot. I can just tap on that, and we can just make it a new name right here. I'll click on done, I'll click on save. There you go, and now we can look at that um, screenshot. So simply go back to your files here, and that last screenshot is right here now, and you can see how it was cropped. So pretty simple. Any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.